All right, what's going on guys? It has definitely been a minute. More like, I don't know, a month, month and a half since I've posted anything. Definitely been busy working, uh, not had the time to really put one up or do it the way that I usually like to do it. So today, just gonna talk about this absolutely, stupidly awesome custom I got. So you guys have seen me post pictures on Instagram of this monster. This is going to be another one of those that I'm telling you, you got to hold this thing to understand. It's like a sword. I mean, I don't know how I'm fitting it on the screen right now. Obviously, if I can barely get just the handle, I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing. I mean, I would have to literally back way out. So that's not going to happen. But at any rate, this is a full custom by Disposition Blade Works. This knife. I challenged Chris to pretty much build me. I told him, do a harpoon, man. Make it look like a harpoon. Did I do it for a specific reason? I don't know, man. I just wanted something crazy. A crazy huge slicer. I get sick and tired of like small or, you know, I don't know. I've ranted about this before. I just wanted one knife in my collection apart from my Espada XL to be a fully functioning huge folder just so I could get some crazy power cuts or whatever in the world I want to do with it. So as you can see, the thing looks pretty insane. I mean, it looks like something, I don't know, it looks like out of a museum. It looks old. It's got like an antique look to it. Absolutely nuts. Blade is perfectly centered. The grinds are spot on. The blade is 5160, which I absolutely love that steel. Super tough, uh, especially with the right heat treatment. It's it's an incredible steel. This clip here is literally the size of most knives. So like, here's the normal size folding knife for you. And there you go. So the clip matches that. Just to give you kind of an idea of what you're dealing with here. So the other cool thing about this knife, and I don't know that anybody else is really doing this right now, but it does have titanium liners and it's a titanium frame lock. Other than part of the scale, so the micarta scale is actually, as you can see, it's like part of the lock. It looks really, really wild. I mean, that there is really polished out and nice. Definitely like that where the lock bar relief is. I don't know that it adds any function to it. I, can, I It just looks cool. It looks really cool. When it locks up to, like, I don't know. This just, the Micarta has a really nice feel to it, so it's really comfortable. It's got a Micarta backspacer as well. I really like, too, that he hides screw heads, so hidden screw heads. Um, really nice there. Just looks really classy. The flipper tab on this thing is freaking huge. It looks like it's got a fin or something. It's just monstrous. Bronze the hardware, so that's really nice too. Really good touch. So let's open this sucker. I don't wanna like bust my camera, so let's see. Holy crap. So the blade, I can get this monster on screen, it's over seven inches. I mean, absolutely huge. Uh, obviously this is not gonna be legal in a lot of states, but from where I'm from, I can pocket carry this sucker all I want. So the shape is just devastating. Uh, the cuts you can do with this thing, it's unreal. <clears throat> The damage would be incredible if you ever had to freaking stab somebody with this thing. Absolute nightmare. So this model is Harbinger. And what I really like, you know, I've talked about the Tesseract before in a video. And when Chris makes a knife for you, he goes all out. I mean, he literally goes all out. You can't work with a better person. He messaged me several times asking me like thoughts, opinions. Um, fantastic guy all around. 
And the coolest part is, is when he makes your knife, it's one of a kind. And you not, you don't, you really don't find that anywhere right now. You know, you see a lot of the same thing. And sometimes that's good. If it's a design that's wildly popular and, and you know, customs are backed up to God knows how long, you know, you have access to mid -techs and that's really beautiful. But, you know, it, there's something just incredibly special about knowing that you have a build for you and that's the only one. It definitely makes it feel more special, so. Check this thing out. Man, it is so sharp, guys. I mean, the edge is polished and just terrifying. Complete nightmare. You can see where it's wearing in real nice with that ceramic detent. It's incredibly smooth. Lock up. It's perfect, man. Early and nice. No play whatsoever. It is rock solid, man. I mean, crazy. Yes, you can actually two-hand this thing, too. Just to give you an idea. So you can two-hand this sucker if you want. So literally, you can use this like a weapon. So there's that. And... Disengaging the lock is just so smooth, so well done. No stick, it's just remarkable. Some cool things too about this that are kind of hidden. If you can get in here and see, he has skeletonized the titanium. And it's really, really well done too. I mean, the knife for as freaking massive as this thing is, man, it's featherweight light, it's insane. So, great job there. I got a back out so I don't cut my camera. Another cool thing, I didn't even notice this. Chris just kind of messaged me one day and he's like, hey man, did you notice uh, this lock bar? There is a uh, an over-travel stop. I don't think I'm going to be able to pick this up. You might be catching a little bit of metal right in there, but it's a integral lock bar stop. So another cool little surprise he threw in there for me. This knife does ride on washers, and I've got to say it's incredibly smooth. I love some knives on bearings for sure. Let me get this out of here. I don't know what this is. There we go. So I love knives on bearings, but I got to say when a knife is done on washers and it's done well, it glides. Um, another knife that makes me think of how smooth washers can really be. Um, my Freed Mare K2 rides on uh, washers and it just, it's incredibly smooth. It just glides. Bearings are great, you know, when they're done well. I mean, I feel like it's less work, but, uh, you know, what can you say? A well done knife on washers is, it's a beautiful thing. So, this freaking monster, dude. I've posted pictures too for anybody that doubts that this thing can be carried in a pocket. It literally slides right in, man. You don't, it's a very low ride pocket, pocket clip. It can be pocket carried really easy. There are a few pairs of shorts that I struggle to put it in, obviously, if it's not a deep ride pocket. But most pairs of jeans, this thing just slides right down and it literally looks like another folder. So another cool thing. When you flick this sucker open, you can't just like pull right here, man. I have found that like if I choke up and get right here, kind of pull down like a lever, which sounds nuts, but it's true. If I pull down like a lever, it just flies. So again, like this, it's like, not like a flipper tab, man. You gotta like pull this lever. And it's not hard to do. Once you get used to doing it, the sucker flies. So there's that. Size comparisons, guys, this is gonna be hilarious because the only other thing that even compares to this thing is the Espada XL so um, how about this so three sisters forge beast look at that I mean it looks miniature so and that's about your normal uh, common EDC, EDC size blade you know three inch three inch blade there great little package overall but I'm telling you, dude, it doesn't even stack up to the sheer size of the Harbinger. So, next up, I'll kind of show you 
my red horse, copper frost hammer. Again, look at that size difference. I mean, even opened up. I mean, it doesn't even compare. It's a joke, dude. Absolutely insane. Um, I'm not going to be able to open this sucker up and show you a full-size comparison. So that's why on Instagram I've posted a few full-size comparisons just so you can see like how stupidly huge this thing is compared to like a Grayman Satu uh, or the fact that its blade is even longer than the XL Espada. Overall, it's not as long as the XL Espada, but I've got to tell you, it's got a better uh, blade to handle ratio, so it just feels much more natural in the hand. It doesn't come across as... Uh, insane or something you just can't wield. This thing is literally believable as a uh, knife that you can carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Next up, I'd probably compare this thing to, just size-wise, you know, Three Sisters Forge Gorgon. This is more, I mean, the Gorgon is considered an XL knife. It's got a four-inch blade, much bigger package overall. As you can see, but I mean, just to give you guys a clue here, I mean, that's what you're dealing with. Let's back this out and line this up. So there you go. That's what I'm saying, this knife is like, it's insane, it's a sword, it's a literal sword. Or even my carbon fiber saw too. Look at that. Absolutely bonkers, dude. As you can see, that edge is just glowing in the light, man. Like I said, Chris puts his knife to razor, razor edge. I find there's different levels of sharp. This is one that I'm a little nervous handling it. I mean, it, I flipped this and tricked a little bit with it, but man, you screw up with this knife, dude, you're, you're done. I mean, you're literally done. So yeah, I mean, is this a knife for everybody? No. Most people are not gonna carry this thing. They're gonna find it completely over the top or unmanageable. But here's the deal, man. I mean, I'm right under 6'6". Six, six. I've got huge hands. This to me is like one of my dream knives. Huge. Matches me. So, nothing to complain about. I've got literally zero complaints on this knife. Everything functions perfectly, lockup is perfect, blade centering, no blade play, wicked sharp blade. I mean, it's just beautiful. Absolutely perfect. And you know, you can really, really see when you hold this knife, the details as far as the fact that it's handmade. I mean, where Chris has rounded off all this, I mean, everything is just beautiful. So comfortable in the hand, man. I mean, it's, it's awesome. I could ramble on about this thing. I mean, can I even fit it on the full? No, yeah, see, maybe. There we go. I could ramble about this knife forever, man. And I mean, I would kind of have to like, let you guys handle it in person to even comprehend what's going on here. I mean, it's, it's pretty bonkers. So I figured I'd take a minute, kind of talk, you know, about this crazy beast I got. I know that, you know, I talked talked about it a lot on Instagram and I've posted it, but I'm telling you, man, you guys got to check out Disposition Blade Works. I've got a couple of his knives. I know there are a few more that he is finishing now and some custom batch that he's doing. Just incredible work. So definitely check him out. But one more time just for fun. I don't want to cut my camera, but listen to that. I mean, I can't even show you because, I, like I said, I'll cut my camera, but, dude, look at that. Freaking behemoth of a blade, man. It's terrifying, man, when this thing is pulled out. It's, it's not for the sheeple, dudes, I'm telling you. So, and it sounds nasty, too. So there's that, guys. Hopefully I didn't talk your ear off too much. Like I said, I've been busy, so it's kind of excited to put a video together that you guys can listen to. And I don't know, I'm going to try and get back on another track of doing reviews uh, once a week again, just to have some fun, get back in the rhythm of things. So 
that's all I got. You got any questions on this, uh, hit me up at Knife Knowing You on Instagram. I'll answer any questions you got or if you just want to talk about it. Anything, man. So until that time, take care, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this.